just thought I'd try, man. Uh, that was actually cool. Like yesterday when we when like we did this napping thing and worked when we both did it. Oh my goodness! No intros. No intro for Forget Dong it. This guy's Dong Ragu, the other guy's JYP. He is six pooling. He is. They're actually just not gonna do intros. All right. When they when no this intros. thing happens, they okay. forget intros. Mole trap. There's we know a proxy who this gate. Is. There's proxy barracks, or there's. Sometimes they, they still down. go through it if it's like proxy. But six pool. They changed that since fast. you left. It's actually really? really cool. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. Anyway. Wow. So this is actually remember like we were talking about earlier on maps where it's hard. Oh my oh, goodness! He's gonna no. scout it first. He scouted after pylon, and he's gonna see it immediately. Oh my gosh. He's gonna do some probe harass here. He's actually gonna put down the forge. Now the reason why he's doing this, what you have to do to respond to this, you have to put down the forge and you have to put down a pylon in your main. Yeah. And then you have to sack the forge, sacrifice the forge, and just like leave it there and try and get a cannon in your main mineral line. That's that's the only thing you do to defend this, and luckily he's seen it early enough that he can do it, I think. Ooh, extractor trick to get some a few extra zerglings out, I like that. Nice. Remember we were talking about how on maps where it's hard to cheese, sometimes if you cheese you can catch someone off guard. Yeah. JYP was all over that, man. He really was. And cannon going down the cannon. here. Not where I would have put it. Well, it's somewhat exposed, but you should have it up in time. You can block with probes, put the probes in stop position. Yeah. And if the Zerlings spend any time on the forge at all, then uh, of course... I don't think they will. No, he's just going to run right by yep, yep. it. He knows he needs to get in the main quickly. Uh, he's gonna Cannon wanna... is going to be almost complete, but here... Yeah, he's going to want to block this. Oh, and he there puts he goes. gateway down. Okay, yeah, that's so what that, he was going to do. I that just makes a lot more sense then, actually. Never mind. Yeah, I didn't know if he was going to have enough money to do it in time, but he just barely did. And, uh, well... Well, I, uh... I don't know. I mean, J or Donger is going to go and kill the pylon here and kill yep. the forge, and well, then and we're going to have thing. a longer game. Yeah, exactly. Because when when Zerg when this happens, Zerg just has to just basically be like, all right, well, I'm going to have to drone up because it's it's not going to work against cannons with probes protecting them and stuff. You, you can't just overpower very easily. You, you can sometimes, but it's risky to try and just all in. Yeah, and, and in this case, with the cannon position the way it is, where it's surrounded on three different sides by the nexus, the pylon, and the gateway. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about the work. gateway, but um. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just weird to think about that, especially if you're not a Protoss player. I knew that's what he was going to do, but I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if he's going to have enough money for that gate, man. <laughs> and now the Zerlings are actually going to do something really smart and target down the probes on the edge yeah. so you can't mine from those patches. Yeah, he's actually just camping that patch. He just can't even mine from one of them. Oh, he's actually mining from the back of the patch. That's hilarious. The probes are like smart, like, oh, I'm not falling for this. I'm going to mine from the other side of that patch. <laughs> Look at that probe. That's a smart probe. Uh, but now he like blocks block himself block up. He's like, I'm gonna put a pile on here so I can't mine there. It's actually a dumb probe. I don't know what I was just talking about. <laughs> Idiot probe. Gosh. That was like your only chance, man. The zealot's dancing around. He's trying to get that second gas, but uh, it's gonna be really hard actually because he's trying to. Oh, he cancels that pylon. He wants to get another cannon up by the looks of it. Well, when he gets a stock route, things are gonna change pretty quickly as well. Yeah. Um, and in fact, he's making a sentry. He has a supply block though because he canceled that pylon. And now, pylon finishes. Chrono boosting that warp gate research out. It's not uncommon to see a four gate follow up to this. It's almost impossible for the Zerg to hold against a four gate. And I think that is probably what we're going to see. Zergling speed being researched for Dongregu right now. I, I actually just don't understand why he's six pooled. I think maybe he's not comfortable playing on Tall Dream Alter. A lot of Zergs will tell you that they just don't feel comfortable playing on this map against Peros in the late game, and Dongregu may feel the same. Well, I mean, if you're up a game, you might as well, I mean, it's, that's a good spot to cheese from, because then, you know, if if JYP had scouted the other direction, hold that thought, Zergling's chasing, trying to get these sentries, and they do get chased off. Nice control by JYP. But I mean, if JYP scouts the other direction, yeah. or scouts later, it's a free win. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if he had just gone Nexus first without scouting, exactly. he would have like lost. Exactly, or like Forge Nexus or something like that, it would have been just free win. So you might as well do that if you're a yeah, game Yeah, I mean, basically it means one of two things. He either doesn't feel comfortable on this map, or he feels so comfortable that he's better than JYP that he's like, well, I can throw this game away. If it doesn't work, I'll still win game three. Yeah. It's like one of two things. Um, well, it looks like instead of four gating, instead of putting a ton of pressure on, JYP is just going to make a Nexus here, expand off of three gates, and he's still going to be way ahead. He's just not going to end the game playing it a little bit safer. Now that's a lot of speedlings coming out here and you know they're 
There aren't oh, wow. that many units for JYP. Yeah, he has to be very careful here. And he's, he's baiting to... him over to the Nexus. He's baiting him away from the choke. He can't... Oh, but he doesn't get into the choke in time. Though. He has he's to cancel gonna, that Nexus, man. He's going to force the cancel. If, if he hadn't... If he'd baited him a little farther from that choke, though, he could have surrounded that and killed everything pretty easily with just the sentries. Oh, man. JYP falling apart here. That was pretty sad. I... That's, that was kind of sad to watch. <laughs> Which one? The Nexus? The, the repeated cancel of the Forge. The oh. gate, for, cancel Forge, cancel Forge again in a different spot. It was like, oh, man. I thought I meant the Nexus. I was like, well, yeah, the cancel. Well, no, yeah, the, can the Nexus yeah, cancel yeah. was no, like unfortunate. I, I see but, what you're saying now. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, guys. Yeah, Dong Regu. Dong Regu is ahead. He, he droned up, and now he has more drones than JYP does probes. He's got a second base. Which JYP doesn't have. He's gonna get a third, which JYP is nowhere near getting. And JYP has no sense of map control. He's got sentries, but he doesn't have enough mobile units. If he tries to move out on the map, he's gonna get counterattacked. He doesn't have any cannons up at that Nexus. Yeah, he's building his first one. Dongregu can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's got a lot of sentries though, so at least he can't really be broken right now. But like you said, Dongregu can just kind of do whatever he wants for a while. And researching hallucinations so you can get some idea of what's going on. Yeah, it's a really smart move. Smart move. Smart move. It's a smart. That move. probe building the pylon earlier—that was not a smart move. It's a JYP move. By the way, JYP used to be called smart. Yes, that's uh, it's kind of funny how we were talking about that. I was gonna be like, is Moltrap gonna mention? Or I should mention it. You know, the other day we had Phoenix versus Tastar. I got so many tweets being like, "You should have made a joke about how they're yeah. both cross warriors," and I was like, "Ah, why?" Like, my brain hurt. I like, felt sad. I was like, I want to just go back in time and change yeah, this. I didn't even realize that until afterwards either. And then I was like, oh, man, that was that would have been an epic opportunity. Oh, this is nice. I like that this. That is actually really cool. That's uh, TSL smart right there. Yeah. And he hallucinates two more Phoenixes to go around the map. He has enough sentries that it doesn't even matter. He still has infinite force fields right now, despite doing a few hallucinations. Checking out Dong Regu's base. He wants to see if there's a spire, and that's what he's gonna see. Which is very frustrating. He doesn't have a lot of stalkers, he's got mostly sentries. He knows now is the timing where he needs to move out because the spire is going up, his opponent is vulnerable, he's invested a lot of this, but moving these uh -oh. zealots out was not the right idea. Oh, he does get him back to well, not the best spot, but a spot. He wants to put those on hold position or block with a gateway and then move those zealots forward. He needs to hit with the timing now because when those videos come out, Dong Regu is in a position where those Mews will keep JYP in his base forever and he'll never be able to do anything again. Does he... Wait, does he have a... Does he have a Spire? Yeah, he's, he had a... Well, he cancelled it. I, he cancelled it and made an Infestation Pit. Yeah, he cancelled it and made an Infestation Pit, okay. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize he cancelled it. Um, so th that's really interesting. Of course, he knew that his opponent saw it. Oh, maybe that's why he canceled it. Yeah, the hallucination came in and saw it, and so he was like, well, I guess I'll cancel this. But this attack is really going to be scary for the same reason making Infestor is a pretty big investment as well as, you know, same as making a Spire, yeah. so it's very difficult to hold these and he, timing attacks. And he's waiting for Pathogen Lens to make the Infestors, so he's not going to have any that are... Well, actually, if he makes some Infestors right now, he's going to have a few fungals when this attack hits. And this, oh, Zelt's getting caught off guard. Yeah, he'd actually sent his sentries home for some reason. They just decided to send his Zelt over here. This is not smart. <laughs> I, think he, I think he was hoping to sneak in there and just target down the third hatchery. Yeah. But well, that he didn't does quite still work have out. sentries at least. Seven infestors on the way. Burrow on the way. Plus one melee attack. Storm on the way. Pretty quick storm. That's going to really help. JYP out because that's the one thing he's going to have the one trump card is going to be able to pull out of his pocket to play. That actually could be really good because uh, Dong Regu is getting a lot of Zerglings. Yeah, he's doing Ling and Fester He's style. actually just made 22 Zerglings more. He already has a bunch on the map. So Storm can be so good against Zerglings, and also it means he's going to have feedbacks yep. around for the Infestors. And Archons, of course, when the energy runs out, yeah. are quite good against So his, his, uh, his combination, his unit combo is actually going to be really good. He needs to actually make some Templar, though. Well, he's got... Yeah, he's got four out right now. Oh, he does. Okay. Could make some more, though. And, uh-oh, these Stalkers may be getting caught. You guys didn't get a shot at those little Infestors well, are going infestors for Infestors are, like, just running up the middle. What are these Infestors doing, They want to walk into a Photon Cannon and 
Alright, Templar. They're gonna cast it. down a bunch of temp. He's gonna try and snipe the Nexus with Terrans. Yeah, but there are storms. So... Oh, but there's storms, so. Well, this just. This, oh, this game just changed really quickly. Wow. Uh, that was a ton of wasted energy. And he forces a cancel on the Nexus on the left, but he just lost like eight investors worth of energy. Who's this guy think he has destiny? <laughs> I don't know, man. That was like. Well, you know, Storm finished like 10 seconds earlier. If if he had been a little bit later on Storm, that could have worked. Yeah, it could have worked. So it wasn't like a really dumb move or anything like that, but. And he still has the Infestors, technically, right? Yeah, he does, but he just used all their energy, so. Yeah. So they can rebuild up energy, though. Dark Shrine going and down, as well as a Warp Prism. I just want to point out JYP is constantly. Constantly sending hallucinated phoenixes into scout. He is making sure he knows at all times what Don Regu is doing. Yeah, That's what really, units really he's smart. making. Has he made any tech switches? We're gonna see another Brudor esque Templar drop here. Nice. As you can see, the energy was highlighted is enough for Storm. Hive is finishing. He's remaking that Spire now. Probably gonna see Broodlord tech to follow this up because Storms do okay against Broodlords, but it's not your ideal uh, answer. You need. A ton of Blink Stalkers, or more importantly, Void Rays to deal with those Broodlords. JYP actually, by the way, was a, uh, a Brood War player. Yes. What ID, Do you remember what ID he used in Brood War? Uh, I do not know. Looks like he, he actually beat Ganji in a MST one time. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Uh, yeah. His alternate... It just says Smart SG on uh, TLPD. But that's a StarCraft 2 clan SG. Do you guys know I am Seed? He was actually in the clan uh, SG as well. Yeah, I don't know. And anyway, here, here comes some DTs. Yeah, these DTs going to do Three a decent DTs amount of damage. DTs coming in. Oh, could he target the Spire? Oh, he might if he sees it. Overseer morphs, but it's going to be a little while. He's targeting the Queen. Or, I don't know what he's doing. He's actually, he needs to the focus. Hive. He should focus that Spire, actually. Oh, a Fungal. But there's the Storm Drop killing a ton of drones. Oh, oh my, my god. god, that was huge! I want to click on that Templar so bad to see how many oh kills. Oh my god, all the drones even clumped up. 34 kills on those drones, man. What? 34. Oh my goodness. That was like, oh, I, I guess Dark Templar going, let me transfer all my drones into the one spot. That, that was, was his plan. I, that was his plan. That was his plan. Dude, that totally just clicked in both our minds at the I same know. time where we like realized, oh! I was like, all oh, those drones went over there. It's like, oh! <laughs> that was actually freaking genius. That was genius. JYP. And uh oh, look at this. Targeting Sniping down some infestors. infestors. Fungal goes off to save him, but uh, loses two infestors. And here's a Zergling counterattack coming into the natural, though. There doesn't appear to be any Templar around. He's just going to run straight into the main. I don't know about that. He probably should have tried to kill probes in the natural, well, he's but he's going to get the, the archive. Templar archive. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. He's going to send some Zerglings over here to, to kill that off. Kid gets the archives, and he should actually kill off the uh, Twilight Council as well. If he he has Adrenal Gland, so he's able to kill things very quickly. Oh, nice. And, uh, in fact, he's going to get this bay as well. Greater Spire going up. And, yeah, in the background, we, did, we didn't catch a shot of it, but he killed the robotic support bay, so he cannot make Colossus, which would be a nice tech switch. Uh, well, depending on what Don Regu continues to make. Well, I don't know how nice of a tech switch is going to be if Broodlords well, start coming true. out. Uh, nice little fungal ears and catch these stalkers. I mean, if he keeps making, I was thinking if he kept making Zerglings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad idea. He just has to, he doesn't quite realize what's going on. I think with the Spire, They're picking off some creep. And uh, who would have thought a game like this would have occurred after a six pool? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, this has turned into an actually an epic game. Uh, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Stalkers like, I want to die. I'm going to run in here and uh, just just die. Uh, there are some Broodlords now on the map, though. Another Zergling counterattack is looking to be in progress. JYP is bringing his forces back, though, in the middle of the map. Actually, just kind of a coincidence, I think, those, both, both those armies kind of met. Running yeah, around. well, back at home, JYP actually added a ton of Photon Cans to stop these sorts of things from happening. And there's a lot of Broodlords. Five Broodlords. Oh, we didn't get a shot thing. of it, but DT's killed a hatchery in the bottom right of the map. Um, nice. And that's an unfortunate situation. Dude, oh my gosh. JY, I didn't realize JYP, because the minimap is cut off on this monitor, JYP actually took 
the nine o'clock base. Yeah. Which would normally be like Dong Regu territory, kind of. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. He wants to expand towards his opponent so he can defend that and be aggressive at the same time. True. Dong Regu unpowered both of his robotics facilities. I guess you guys got a shot at that because his immortal was stuck. <laughs> he actually killed the pylon? Yeah, he killed the pylon to get the immortal out. Then it like unpowered both of his robos. So he had to remake <laughs> pylons over there. Unpowered his Twilight or his um, Temple Archives, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And a storm drop over the cliff over here at the natural. It's not even nice. a drop, it's just a walk up. Kills a few drones. Six kills. Not a ton though. Oh, oh, that could have been really bad. But he only gets a couple more. And here's a Baneling drop though. He's gonna drop the natural, I'm sorry, drop the third. No, that's the fourth. Baneling's drop out, slaughtering yeah. probes. Every probe goes down except two gas probes. And he actually sent more, nope, he didn't actually send those overlords up yet to the other base, but he kills about 10 probes in that fourth. There's one Baneling still over there too, just kind of hanging out. So, wow. uh, 56. There have been a total of almost 100 units uh, workers killed in this game. Catches this oh overlord. no, we might get it. Oh, kills it with all the Banelings inside. No. During all of this game, like there's been some tons of Dark Templar harass, for example, DT yeah. harass going on right now down at the third base of um, at the third base of Dong Regu, and he lost that fourth dropping base. He was able to remake that, dropping zealots in the main. JLP is showing us his brood war mechanics are shining through here, man. He is doing so much harass, and these brood lords are just kind of chilling. He's been hiding those for a while. Yeah, and now he's going to come out with ten brood lords, nine brood lords rather. They're going to force these stalkers to blink away. And I don't know if JYP has anything to deal with those Brood Lords, man. He actually doesn't. Uh, what he has right now is 11 Stalkers, 4 High Templar, and 4 Colossi. Um, I guess, I mean, if they clump he, up, he, he needs could to storm buy, them, but... Yeah, he needs to buy himself some time. He may just have to sacrifice his base. He's already remade a Nexus in the north. I think he's just going to have to let this base go. Yeah. Make a tech switch to either Brood Lords, or excuse me, Void Rays, or he looks like he's already making the switch to yeah, Void he's Rays. Got two stargates going Void up. Rays are coming up here. He's actually adding a ton more gate so he can make more Link Stalkers. Oh, nice. Using the immobility of those Brood Lords to go over here and just attack the fourth at the bottom right. Just like you said, he's sacrificing this base, but at the bottom right, he's killing that off as well. He's going to move into Dong Regu's third. He needs to bring the Brood Lords back down to deal with this army. And Fester's there as well, he could fungal everything. He fungals to hold him in place for the Banelings to hit some of the Stalkers. And uh... He's gonna get forced back it looks like, fungling a couple of sentries as well. Yeah, a lot of those sentries went down. But sentries not too important at this stage of the game. I mean, there's a lot of Zerglings out, but... With storms and everything else that's going on, sentries aren't doing a lot of damage to Broodlords and things like that. Um, uh oh, this is gonna be really bad. This could be a turning point of this game. Dongergu may recontrol everything after this battle. Oh. This is the scary part here. He's not even able to get any storms off. He's losing oh his key God. units here. He does get most of those Zerglings at least, but it's really the Broodlords. The Broods are like infinite Zerglings anyway. He really needs to worry about them the most. Uh, and yeah, so JYP falling back. Actually, well, he's actually moving his army kind of around the well, side. Well, JYP is, is about to have a better income than Dong Regu has, but, you know, he's, he's buying himself time. He's trying to so he can get these Void Rays out. He's already got four Void Rays out. He's about to have, he's going to have six in just a moment. He doesn't have any air weapons for those. That's going to be really good, but he has to be very careful of the investors. Yeah. He's going to lose all of his Void Rays if he's not careful. So he's got to storm everything here. Feedback. Some of the infestors. Yeah, he's got to feed back them. the infestors. Oh, I like this Dark Templar choice oh, here. Oh, no. He gets one storm off on the Broodlords, but he can't get anywhere close enough to feed back the Look infestors. at how many Broodlings there are. There's, like, a ton of Broodlings. And, but JYP takes out Don Regu's third. Don Regu is barely mine right now. We are seeing a base trade situation, but here comes the Void Rays. Colossi killing things. The Void Rays are coming in, and I don't know where his infestors are. There they are coming up. He's going to want to split He's going to be able to deal with this. He's going to have to go back, but he's trapped. He's fungled. Oh, he fungles them. The infested Terrans pop out. The fungled Void Rays can't escape. They kill them all. And we are going to see a base trade here. I and think I think JYP is going to have the advantage in I that. Absolutely. He's got such a mobile army. He's got a strong army. And the army of JYP has four Colossi. He's got about 10 Stalkers and two Immortals, plus a Sentry scattered in there. And that army is just not going to be able to kill everything that Dong Regu can throw out. Oh my god, a ton of probes. He needs to fungle that. Oh, he missed a chance to fungle every probe that JYP had. Uh, but he's going to kill off these Void Rays, though. 
But he can't really be in every place at once. He's splitting the Void Rays up. And he's actually hitting a gateway with the Infested Terrans instead of the Void Rays for some reason. But uh, Dong Ryu just is going to lose his main. Uh, Dong Ryu actually surprisingly is not hiding Extractors, and he only has 59 Minerals left. So this game is getting closer than it should have been. Now, he's about to lose his Hive here. He's got one more Hatcher, which is the bottom base. And Dong Ryu has turned around, but he has enough Blue Lord to clean up this army, most likely. If he cleans up the army, he can counterattack again and probably end the game. But JYP is mining right now. He's continuing to make Void Rays. This is actually a pretty close game, Moltrap. Yeah, it is close, but... The Dong investors Ryu. are key here. Yeah, so here's the thing is now JYP's army is trapped. And if Dong Ryu could finish it off, well, it's oh, kind of trapped, actually. That was a bad that choice, blinking under those Brood Lords like that. Saves his Colossi, but for how long? <laughs> yeah, he could have blunk, blunk. He could have blinked them down yeah, and, gotten and them out to of escape there. with them. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Then he could have attacked the hatchery again. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, um, no. That Dark Temple are getting involved here a little bit. Now, he's making Void Rays back at home almost entirely. That's almost all he's making. He's going to try to get a critical number of Void Rays to kill the Corruptors and the Infestors, but there are so many Infestors and Corruptors out right now, it's going to be very difficult. In fact, uh, actually, he ended up losing all of his Corruptors in that last engagement, so he's only got... He's got eight Broodlords, 35 Zerlings, and five Infestors. He's got no money. He's got three Mining Drones on yeah. one base, so... That's it. So this is the army he has. Yeah. JYP has a good income, but his army is so small that he's struggling to make an army that can deal with the army that he's got against him here. This is a very close game. If he targets these investors though with these Colossi, when they're away from the Broodlords, he will have a really good chance at this. Yeah. But, but if Dong Regu keeps his army consolidated, exactly. it's going to be very difficult to engage. And here we go! Dong Regu can still kill this. If he can, he loses one investor, two investors. He blinks forward, he's going for the Infestors, so they're the only thing that can deal with these Void Rays. And I think there's just not enough Infestors I, to I deal agree, with the man. Void Rays. I agree, man. I think this is going to be it. He's going to be able to target down these Broodlords. Sure, he's going to lose all his Colossi, but it doesn't matter. GG! JYP comes back and takes Game 2 in spectacular fashion. With some awesome multitasking, some great drops. Yeah, great play by JYP. Dong Riku played well as well. Able to come back from six pooling. Yeah. A failed six pool. He played it well. And that was an awesome game between two players. I told you guys this was going to be the close match yeah. today. This was going to be the awesome one. And it is, man. This has been absolutely nuts. Yeah, I was like, oh, SC versus Teja will be close, actually. And then, like, Teja just wiped him out. But this has been really, really close. These two players, obviously, very highly, very well matched, very highly skilled. Um, I'm definitely, like I said, I haven't seen too much of JYP before. I'm definitely impressed by him today. Yeah. That was amazing. His multitasking with the drops is really good. We saw him, like, even last game. The Void Rays, the Sentry Drop, the Defending the Counter-Attack. Um, for a while, I felt like Dong Rigu was outclassing him this game. But then he made what, I, what I'm going to refer to as now, uh, from now on, the Send Mistake. There's to make too many Broodlords. No, I'm serious. If you commit uh. too much to the Broodlords, it's the Send Mistake. <laughs> and then the Void Rays come on a big map, oh, they're not mobile sad. enough, and then a game that you probably would have won, you end up losing. Yeah, but obviously, he was depending on the Infestors to be his anti-air. And you're right, if he'd had maybe like um, a, a group of six to eight Corruptors instead, and only like a handful of Broodlords to control things, you're right, it would have it been a little bit better off you, maybe. Yeah, you have the situation where he has... He had, JYP has two mining bases. One's like over here, one's over here. And Dongregu has this really strong army, but he has no mining. So it's like, well, why didn't he harass the bases? Well, if his Zerlings were away, then the Stalkers and everything else would have killed things quickly. So he had to keep his Zerlings with his army so he couldn't harass. But he's like, I need to harass. If I don't harass, he's going to build up Void Rays. And I don't have an economy. So he's like slowly trying to pick off one base at a time. But then JYP is being really mobile around the map. That was like really tense. It's like hard to say how, how that yeah. could have gone better. I and think... Like, committing to the Broodlords so early, he made, like, 15 of them or something before we got into the base trade scenario. I think that was yeah. a little too much. Well, and he wanted to keep them hidden and, like, just make a bunch before he revealed them. And it did work. He caught JYP with no anti-air. He caught him with no anti-air, but the issue then was that he kind of moved out and, like, didn't make much to back that up. He, I mean, he should have maybe expected Void Race to come out in response, and he didn't have any, like, corruptors or anything yeah, yeah. like that. He did try valiantly to try and hold off the an the anti-air with uh, infestors, and it worked for a while. 
but JYP had been using his mobility and killing off bases so much that Dharma just couldn't keep up yeah, at, exactly. that, by that point. And once the Investors fell, no anti-air, the Broodlords die, and GG comes yeah, out. GG. And, uh, I mean, I feel like Dongregu, maybe he shouldn't have come back. As I don't know. Because, like, he's like, they went for a base trade, and then Dongregu came back before he killed everything JYP had. Yeah. So he was still mining and still making Void Rays um, while Dongregu had, like, three mining drones. So, yeah. I don't know. That could have gone differently as well, although he kind of had to come back. Otherwise... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. That it's is done with. Man. It is complicated. It's all going to come down to Metalopolis, though. We're going to have one last game to determine who's going to go to the round of eight in the up and down matches and who is going to be only Code next season. We're going to find out in just a moment. Both players have some proving to do. Here we go.